tell them they're not going to get the money. It's David Hatch, oh, beautiful dummy, South bought it. Bear Dickham, they went shopping in a chemist shop, didn't they? Here's Cronulla with Andrew Eddinghausen kicking ahead. I reckon he's going to score, ladies and gentlemen. He has. Andrew Eddinghausen has scored beyond any shadow of doubt. So beautifully executed. I know Andrew, or E.T. as he's called, did his job, but uh, South fell off a huge dummy that this man, David Hatch, threw. Bear Dickham, he went into an enormous gap strode into vacant pasture, turned it inside delightfully for McGaw, and then sit back and watch Andrew Eddinghausen. About three feet inside the dead ball. David Hatch has always been one of my favourite players, and here he shows some tremendous ball skills. He speared into a little hole, set up his support well on the inside, and that was McGaw. He timed the pass very well to Eddinghouse, and he was hemmed in here. There was nowhere he could go, so he elected to chip ahead. He gave a very good chase, skirting the sideline, and bang! 6-6. Six, six. Cronulla are going to the right for Ellison in 23, into a little opening, back for docking, backing up, away to the corner, he'll score! Little Jonathan Docking is in to score again. Well, he hangs around like a driver's dog, little Jonathan Docking. <laughs> and he waits for the scraps to come his way but then when you come in contact with a man like Mark Ellison who is a proven ball player something's bound to come your way and it did for Jonathan what angle to drive him over the sideline that was the ball that, that made the try all possible from Mark Ellison sure it was aided and abetted by some some fall off defence or some fragile stuff but on the positive, it was a, a very good pass from Mark Ellison that put John stretch it and maybe use the kick. They do. Wakefield's kick. It's come off the legs of a player. Wakefield. McGaw looked to be over the line. He's given the ball to Eddinghausen, and Eddinghausen has scored. Eddinghausen has scored his second try of the night, but there look to be a few question marks about this try. Wakefield's kick went across... And it seemed to come off the legs of a player inside McGaw to McGaw, who seemed to be in front of him. Have a look at it again. There's the kick. There it was. No, well, he might have been he might have been in line with him, giving the referee the benefit of the doubt. And McGaw looks organised though. Healy, Watson, and he goes back in amongst the forwards, and Cunningham wraps him up. Last tackle coming up now for Cronulla. Can they penetrate? Neve puts it through, goes close, Ridge kicks it. Sockers it upfield. Chance again for Cronulla. I don't think Ridge had much op uh, option though. He had to get it out of there. And he wasn't going to get to it first. Well, knowing Manley's luck today, it wouldn't surprise me if they scored from that. Not their luck, I suppose, the way they're playing. Great ball, Adam Ritson. And Barnett scores. But yeah. it was fairly scrappy play, but at least uh, they've moved the ball where Manley with Finn. Ritson charges at Hill and the ball away. Shows that he has got these ball, ball skills. So strong in the upper body, Terry Hill. He slips a pass away here to Moore. Now bad one behind Hancock. Barnett's got it. Barnett will score for Cronulla. That's sloppy play by Manley. Cronulla's second try. He won't be happy with this, Bob Fulton, at all. I mean, Danny Moore comes up with a very ordinary pass. In fact, the pass was never on. Even if Hancock did get the ball, he was going to be dumped by Barnett anyway. Picks it up and scores a good opportunity to strike. Very disappointing. Quinn. Craig Tracy. Quinn. Well, he's there, is he? I think it's Michael Porter who's gone over to score. As Ronnie Quinn, but there was plenty of South Sydney defence here. The standing, Michael Porter showing his own sort of strength to get across that line. But Ian Roberts, Mario Fennick, Craig Coleman, they're all there on the line, unable to hold him. They were looking for the ball to go back across to the open. A little switch might have put them off balance, but there they are. He just braced himself for the tackle. A bit of a specialist, only about a yard or a metre or so from them, right in front of the goalpost, opening up great pa uh, pa uh, parts of play on both sides of the ruck. Out to quit. On a speech, the back on the inside. Beautifully to Glenmore to see Jimmy C. And he's in for a try. 
C came in from the fullback job. I think there was a call came there very smartly, but he changed direction. See it again. And on the State Bank replay, that's the way it panned out. Plenty of open spaces either side of the scrum base, and Jimmy C finding enough room to move in there. Just broke out of the last ditch tackle. David Boyle. They've got to hold another five at bay as the ball goes away for big Danny Lee. A storming run. 18 out from the uh, the Bulldogs line now. Good hands, Paul Green. Brown waits for Bell. Bell, he's got the pass inside. It's a try for Brown. Scott Brown gets the try. The Sharks hit the lead. Oh, he's been one of the unsung heroes for the Sharks the last couple of weeks, Jeff Bell. Have a look at the move he puts on Jared McCracken. We've wrapped McCracken's defence tonight, but he gets stood up here, all ends up. Tremendous take from Paul Green. It's a bad pass from dummy half. Select pass from Brown. There's the step off the left foot, straight through McCracken. Pull him out of there in cover defence. And then the pass. The referee's in good position to rule on that one. Scott Brown had stayed alive after serving up the ball to his centre partner. The good thing here was the work done by Scott Brown. After he passed the ball, he stayed alive. He didn't die. He just trailed back on the inside. Many players, when they throw the football, say, well, I've done my job, but not Scott Brown. He tailed up on the inside there and gets a try. Stumbling effort. I wonder if he really played that correctly in just tapping that ahead. McGaw charges onto it. Floats it out. Wilson's there. Back in field for Staines. Speeder. Oh, that's magnificent hands. Out to Wilson. Oh, what a try in the end. Oh, what a try.